Mountain Bow or at 200 Southwest Second. It's just south of Fort Avenue. South of Fort Avenue. <laughs> about this venue, uh, you know, at, at least for a while, it'd be a pretty good boy until somebody else jumped in, or and if nobody else got into it, then I, you know, this would be a pretty lame town. Here's the drawback of living in Des Moines is the bands like us that just want to play nothing but our own music, that don't want to go up there and play a four-hour set of groove tunes that we didn't write and get paid a thousand bucks a night. We can't do that here. Plus, this is the only club that, that accepts our kind of music and our style and the fact that we do play all our own there's a, there's a really good community of, of, of local alternative bands. And, I mean, community is the right word. They're, they're very supportive of each other. Us. I think we get a lot of pity from people being from Iowa. I mean, I think they think, oh my god, these people are actually trying to do this in Iowa, which is kind of funny, but I mean, whereas when we started it, it was, we have all this music we want to talk about, now it's like, you know, people we don't know are sending us, bands we've never heard of are sending us their tapes to review. and. It just, you know, it's doubled and tripled in size. The postage is a bitch. It costs about 70 bucks a month to mail it. Bank is the leading underground. Yeah, yeah. They're, what, they're what this place is in print, you know. Without it, there'd be no. Exactly. There's a lot of really good music out there, and nobody knows it. Yeah. Because Des Moines is, is so pulled back from everything else. And we're, we're still Boy. listening to the new Kansas. If there is a new Kansas, it's not new, folks. Damn it. I guess it's spaghetti. I don't know, I just got on the Marine Corps, went down a bar. They were playing semi-decent music, so besides all the lame sports bar crap that they play out everywhere else in town. And I started, I decided I was gonna mosh. And I, and I went out and I started skanking by myself and I was trying to get other people to do it and they wouldn't so I called, started calling everyone in the bar pussies and faggots and the owner decided he wanted me to work for him and that was part of my first job was starting pits and, but the more he's lame and no one knows what they're doing so that didn't work out so I ended up being a bouncer. The music's cool sometimes you got to go through a lot of shitty bands to get good bands. In the Midwest there are more bands now than there were five years ago, probably maybe twice as many. I mean, you know, anymore it's like anybody that's got a guitar and an amp is in a band. I mean, some of the best fucking bands, man, are, you know, there'll be 20 people here because they're the first band, you know, and nobody will see them, you know? It's just like a constant, yeah, they may, it's know, a constant they struggle game, between, you know, some of, the, some of the best bands that we've had since we opened. Um, next to no one to see them. And it's, I mean, it's just, it's a goddamn shame. I mean, there, are some, there, are, there are bands that really deserve. They, I mean, they really deserve better than the people we can provide for. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna swear to God, I'm gonna punch the next person I hear and say there's nothing at all to do in the world right now. Des Moines is not a dead town. <laughs> 